am here in Lisbon at the Neuro Language Conference, well, Neuro Language Coaching Conference, and I have been having the opportunity to meet amazing people all over the world. And uh, this is Elena Pro Nina. <laughs> Nina. She's from Russia and she's got background in linguistics, and I think she's got loads of interesting things to share with us. So, Elena, could you please tell a little bit uh, from our audience uh, what you do and what is neuro language coaching and what kind of techniques have you been using uh, in your field, please? Sure, it was a pleasure. Uh, I'm Elena Pronina and I live in Moscow and um, at the moment I'm developing the concept of neuro language coaching, bringing the concept by Rachel Pannon to Russia. And I've got several clients um, who's doing coaching with me and showing really great results because uh, basically what we do uh, is um, uh, delivering uh, cross linguistics communication, uh, delivering the language via a di uh, different approach using classical English uh, teaching methods, but without the books, we do not use the textbooks. No textbooks. Uh, <laughs> plus coaching techniques, uh, coaching models we use with the clients to overcome the obstacles, to generate the energy in the sessions, to motivate. Plus neuroscience, because we as a neuro language coaches are trying trained uh, by Rachel how the brain works, um, about the structure of the brain, how we learn, what are the efficient ways to learn. So we do explain to our coaches uh, this method. Basically, I really love this explanation when the, uh, people ask me about the difference between classical teaching yes. and uh, neural language coaching. I'm saying imagine that you are in a car and it, in classical teaching, you, the teacher is behind the steering wheel and yes. the student is sitting next. Uh, to him in a passenger seat and don't really know where this car is going exactly. and when it's going to arrive to the destination point and what you're going to see on the way. So basically, the passenger is the passive uh, figure in that story. In your language coaching, uh, the student, the co coachee, is sitting behind the steering wheel so he knows exactly where he's going, what is the destination point, well, how much time it will take to get there and coach is sitting near in the passenger seat, helping out uh, the coach to you know, to get to that destination point. So this is the. <laughs> I love the this idea. analogy. Yeah, it makes so much sense, and I always tell that that to my students. So I help them also to be uh, self-responsible for their journey. So it is. It is. Uh, this is the method for people who are uh, ready to take the responsibility yes. for the process and for the results. So uh, it is very um, important point here to be ready to take the responsibility to exactly. be grown up. <laughs> grown up. That's the word. Yeah. <laughs> And plus, uh, since I have a certificate in yoga therapy and I'm um, in yoga for more than 10 years and I really find this practice really beneficial and um, it, it has nothing to do with, you know, mystical concept or esoterical concept, but yeah. it's a really great instrument to uh, enhance and improve your life. So I'm using some techniques um, during the sessions. Um, I don't really call um, meditation techniques, right? Because like focus on concentration techniques, maybe? It is a concentration techniques. It's a mindful practices. Mm -hmm. uh, um, for example, if I see that the client is overwhelmed with information, he needs a little break, then I suggest that for five minutes we close the eyes and try to concentrate on the breathing, on the, the very uh, point of your nose yes. and feel how the air comes in and comes out of the nose okay. and um, you count for example on count one two three four you slowly breathe in and on count four you breathe out one two three four and you continue doing this you uh, feel how your limbic system comes down how your blood is actually rich of oxygen now and you coming down all your senses coming down and we are ready to continue yes once i feel that uh, we are losing the energy and uh, sometimes i have two hour uh, sessions so between two hours two hour session yeah i've got a client who's very very busy and he can't really do uh, two days a week so he suggested that he's comfortable with two hours at the same time okay. and, which is really really demanding yes so um, I suggested that um, yeah, after one hour we have a really um, energetic um, breathing technique in um, yoga they call it Kapla Bhati wow 
and it's basically very short inhale and very um, you know powerful exhale. Yes. You do like that. Do I have to use my diaphragm? You do your diaphragm. You use your diaphragm, and your stomach, your tummy comes in, tucked in. Right. You do it like for 50 times, then you take a deep breath afterwards, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, yes. and you're ready to go. You actually really feel energized. It's amazing. And you are ready to continue. So this is how the, you know, mystery is <laughs> from Which is not really years. Exactly, it's not mystery, right? Like thousands of years, they already knew it. Yeah, they and knew that and it's really working. <laughs> We're bringing it now to language learning and basically this will help you to enhance your performance in many ways. So we're not bringing to bring it to language learning as well, right? Absolutely, because everything is interconnected. Language exactly. learning is not as some separate uh, occupation. Exactly. It is not separate from your life. Once you have some you sort of problems in your life or distractions, you better overcome them effectively and continue your um, learning with without them so you will be just focused on the process. Right. Everything is connected yeah. and it is great that we can use all these new methods now and get the better results. Even teaching English is uh, evolving, right? Yeah. And I don't know if I mentioned to you, Elena, but I also uh, give some guided meditations to my students to help them to be more focused and to concentrate in class. And this will obviously help them in so many ways while learning. So I am deeply inspired by those people that are also um, using this kind of techniques to help to enhance language learning. So you are an inspiration. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> and well, thank you very much for sharing with us uh, your work. And um, I believe one of the best gifts of being in a place like this is to have the chance to meet people sure. like you, you know, and people that are doing, you know, great job all over the world. And sometimes we are like all spread, but then we have the chance to come together and learn with each other. So I'm sure my Brazilian audience will be deeply inspired by your words. Yeah, <laughs> really, uh, TV shows from Brazil were so popular in Russia. Really? Yeah, and then, uh, oh, you do the best. <laughs> Well, see, you know more than me. Like, I mean, you know Portuguese more than I know Russian. Maybe. So, would you teach me how to say hi, how are you in Russian? Uh, yeah. Hi is going to be Privet. 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 And how are you will be Kak Dila. That's difficult. Kak. Kak. Dila. Dila. Kak Dila. Kak Dila. Oh, I'm speaking yeah. Russian. You can answer okay. Oh, that's an easier one. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> So, yes? Yeah. Um, Did you want to say something? No, okay. yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ask them to subscribe to, to my channel then. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it now. Um, also, if you haven't hit the like button yet, please do it now as well. Leave us your like. And let's continue this conversation down here on the comments below. If you find that this uh, video is interesting and you know that more people can benefit from this information, please share with your friends and I see you on the next video. Thank you, Elena. Sure, ciao. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>